Good day, it is January 23rd and I am back with another vlog. It's, uh, it's been about two weeks in Germany now. Uh, it snowed, finally. This is kind of like what I pictured when I came out here in the winter time. Uh, I'm gonna go down and do some laundry uh, and then I'm gonna start my leg workout, which is gonna be fueled by a ghost pre-workout, which I've been taking this entire time while I'm out here. Um, it's been pretty sick. Uh, Probably one of the best pre-workouts that I've ever had, honestly. Uh, you get a good, you know, you get that good like tingly feeling, love it. So, uh, let's cut to the workout. We're out here with my boy Jay George. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're waiting for this heat to kick on. I am freezing cold right now. Running. <sighs> yeah. Just walking around trying to warm up, loosen up a little oh, bit. You know what? Gonna do a quick stretch. Then we're gonna get into it. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual workout aspect. I don't have uh, access to like a, a leg extension machine, so I had to look up uh, different ways to do it, and I found that this way has been really good. It's a little bit of pressure on my knees, but I was able to do uh, three sets of 10 uh, body weight. Um, it does work the quads quite a lot, and I've really enjoyed... Um, doing these um yeah so there's a lot of improvisation going on during these workouts um that i haven't minded doing because it's brand new for me and i love it so here um i'm going to do some hamstring uh lying leg curls um really feel it in my glutes a lot uh, i get into uh, why I'm doing these in just about a minute, but the same thing improvisation. I don't have access to a lying leg curl machine um, At least not today because the gym was uh, closed Being as is this isn't a commercial gym obviously uh, you, We have to improvise a lot and I just started messing around kind of trying to make my own version of a leg curl And I definitely feel it. I have to do more reps, but I mean that's never a problem but little rig this little contraption up I guess I don't know I'm sure somebody's done this before but yeah <sighs> trying to get my legs to grow is probably my weakest point uh, as far as aesthetically uh, that and my midsection which probably attests to my not so consistent diet <laughs> so now we get into the fun part uh, the squats uh, squats as Mark Bell would call them. Um, not my best session. Um, I started doing sets of five thinking I was going to work up to like a heavy a um, uh, couple sets of six so I, did, I wanted to be fresh but then my uh, hips started bothering me and my sciatic nerve is all pinched up and 
my lower back is you know not so great uh, considering all of what I do uh, between the wrestling <laughs> there's a little pose for you but between the wrestling and uh, like the construction work I do back home and and the workouts so it does put a bit of a strain on my back oh man I just whacked the weight tree as you can see there I just banged into the weight tree which is not one of the benefits of working out in a small gym but you know good thing it was early on and I can move that thing <laughs> uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again when it gets a bit easier. we'll see so with this next set, we're doing a set of five with 70 uh, kilograms. This one felt a bit better. Um, these ones I'm hitting depth uh, perfect, um, which was an issue later on. But now I'm adding some weight to it and I'm throwing on the knee sleeves right now in the video. Uh, we went up to 90 kilograms on the next set, as you can, uh, as you'll be able to see in a second. Um, this is where it started getting a little bit of strain on my lower back. Um, I was, uh, seeing a chiropractor for, uh, like right up until I left. Um, I had some issues with my hips, uh, my sciatic nerve, like I said, keeps getting pinched. Um, and I got some pinched nerves in my, uh, upper, uh, trapezius area and my shoulder area, but hasn't stopped me really, um, from lifting, uh, Legs have been a bit of an issue, but uh, as you can see going forward later on, I don't hip depth right away. Um, these weren't a problem, but now on this set, I think I go a little shallow. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just having a hard time getting all the way uh, down. My mobility has uh, gone quite a lot. <laughs> Uh, you can see my buddy Jay George right there uh, saying what's up to the camera. So now here uh, we do uh, 100 kilograms. Don't hit depth. Start getting a little bit closer. Right there was good, was better. And that was probably my best rep there. And the last two, I should say. Oh, um, now to take the shirt off for everybody, flex the guns, bang, I know what I'm doing there. So now another set of 100 kilograms, uh, yeah, um, like I said, don't hit depth right away, close, but this was probably my best set, the best I felt during the workout, even though it was at the end and I was fatigued, um, still trying to work my way back up to a heavy uh, squat. Representing all the way out in Germany. No, I'm not still stuck in high school. It's not when I peaked, obviously. But yeah, the next um, uh, exercise I did was the lunges. This is my last set. I did 10 on each leg, uh, with about 25 uh, pounds. <laughs> uh, they felt good. Lunges are always a problem with me. Uh, I just I don't ever feel like I'm doing them correctly. But then you know I always feel the burn at the end. Um, this is a good like little finishing thing uh, right before I get into my Romanian deadlifts, which is the next one that I do. Uh, this is the last set that I do actually. Uh, I do four sets of uh, eight at the end to finish. Uh, like my lower back was hurting, so I went light. But yeah, after this, uh, I went and got some food, uh, refeed a little bit, ate some pizza. Uh, carved up a little bit, you know, not the healthiest, like as I was talking about earlier, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, then I went on to train for two and a half hours, uh, just grappling and rolling around in the ring. And it's been a pretty great time out here since. Got my workout. Now I'm going to do the fun part of my day and hang laundry because sometimes you have to be an adult. Guys, I'm just finishing up with editing the video. Um, watching Royal Rumble 2007. Uh, John Cena's coming out, and you probably can hear the music. Uh, yeah, it was a dope training session after uh, we got back from eating, and yeah, exhausted. So, if you like the video, like the video, please subscribe, and that's classic.